Welcome to Sahara TV. Sahara TV has been following the development of a dramatic story out of Delaware, USA, of a Nigerian woman who allegedly murdered her husband last week. Police in Delaware have accused Tamitope Adebamiro of the first degree murder of her husband, Yinka Adebamiro. Police alleged that Temitope slashed her husband's throat, and she has since told the public that he was cheating and physically abusing her. Today, we are joined by Temitope's sister, who will tell us more about what may have gone on with Temitope and her husband. Her sister has requested that we not reveal her name and location due to the international attention this case is receiving. Okay, you just mentioned her being married to him. So can you please describe the instances that you met her husband, the deceased, Yinka? Um, I was living with my aunt when I called my sister's number because she calls my aunt, like my mom's elder sister. And 2000 and... Um, 2000 and... Um, Seven to be precise. Yeah. Oh. 2007. I I tried my sister's number. I got the number from my aunt's number, so I tried the number, and it was um in car. That's after the husband that picked up the phone, and that was the first time I spoke to him. Then I didn't even know they were married. So he told me he was going to connect me to my sister in Nigeria. The right that she's in Nigeria and she's going to connect me with her. And my sister called me. Okay. And that will be the first time I'll be talking to her for a very long time. Oh, wow. So please tell our viewers the relationship that you had with your sister. Um, when we met in 2007, we were very close. We were so close, like we talk, not like really, really, really close because we didn't grow up together. So we're trying to, you know, know each other, you know, try to, you know, get closer, catch up the old time and everything. But we didn't really stay together for long, for like, I can, she, I, you know, I can remember like a month. So she went back to the state to her husband and most time we talk on phone. And she came back. Nigeria, like 2009. Oh, okay. yeah, she came back 2009 and um, to get me and my younger one, my the last born, that's a my younger sister. She came back to you know get a place for us to stay. She came to rent an apartment for us, also in Ibadan, and you know she came to set up the place for us. So we can live comfortable and so that I can go back to school. Okay, so she seemed like a, you know, good big sister. Yes. Yeah, so I just want to get back to the um, the murder. Was she ever violent towards you? Uh, once. Though she, yes, I think the last one I remember was she was, there was a time she was really mad at me and she threw a plate at me. But, you know, God saved me, not an apple, and you know, I skipped it. But she's always, you know, she, she, gets, she gets mad easily. She gets angry easily. She, she, most times she shouts. But we were not really, like, right from the beginning, we were not really in good terms. We know we're not always very, very, we, we, never, get, we never got along. We're always having issues because the way our lifestyle is actually different from mine. And so we kind of, you know, there's a conflict that aspect. Okay, in what way are your lifestyles different, if I may ask? Okay, um, though it might sound a little bit uh, immature, but for me, um, I'm kind of, I go to church, I, you know, you know, attending church services and all, but she's not really the type that does that at all. She doesn't like going to church, and she doesn't like, you know, anything prayers or stuff. And when we actually started having issues was when I noticed she was smoking, she drinks and all, and, you know, those kind of stuff. Like, that was when we started having issues. 
that those were me and not me and Mr. Stout they have any issues because I told her I didn't like it and she was like, well. Oh, okay. When yeah. you said smoking, you mean smoking cigarettes or smoking, you know, um, non-cigarettes like weed? Uh, well, she started weed on cigarettes. But okay. But me, around last last few years, I, you know, I saw her smoking the other one. Oh. Okay, so in terms of violence, was she ever um, violent towards others, or was it just towards you, and was it just a sister thing? Uh, well, I really, I really don't know. I really can't say if she has been violent to other people. I really, I really can't say about that because I've not seen her in like a physical fight with anybody. Okay. But, yeah, I've never seen a physical fight with anybody aside from you know, what really, like Brinka told me the fight they had. Like he broke something on his head and he was rushed to the hospital. I wasn't there, he told me. Oh, so the husband have told you before about violent encounters that they've had? Yes. Wow. Okay. So was there ever a time that there was a change in her behavior that worried you? Yes. Um, I was in uh, 2009, and she had, like, a, uh, she had, like, an extramarital relationship. Okay. And, yeah, and I spoke to her about it. And she told me not to advise her on anything. That until I have up to like um like she told me that until we all uh, until you have I can't remember the way she said it, but she she just told me like until I have like a million dollars in my account that is when I should come to her and advise her on anything. Okay. Um I know you were also talking to one of our um one of our um, correspondents, and you mentioned something about black magic. Can you please elaborate on that? Yes. Um, I I noticed uh, about two about two and a half years ago that she 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 she's been coming in with you know black energy because there was a time I, in our wardrobe I saw like a wood with. You know, like a shock, I and mean, the wood looks like um, a coffee, a coffee, and like a shock was in it. And I was really scared when I saw that. And I actually told my pastor in Nigeria about it, and she told me to just pray that nothing's gonna happen to me. But and I should just keep praying for her. And of which I've been doing that for a very long time. And later. When I was talking to a husband about what has been going on, because the husband always called me to tell me what's going on, and he told me he found some you know, stuff in the house, like stuff that she's been using on him. Because when he told me about it, I was like, seriously, yet well, I wasn't really surprised when he told me because I've been seeing some of it at home. So, I'm sorry to cut you off, but the husband was the one that told you about stuff that she's been using on him in terms of black magic? Yes. Wow. And um, what was the result of that? Like, what did he do? Well, he, she was in Nigeria when he, saw, he found some of it in the house. She was in Nigeria when he found some of it in the house. And when he told me about it, I'm like, yeah, I won't be surprised because I've been seeing, I've, I've, I've actually, I've been seeing her doing stuff like this before. So I've been, I've been seeing some of it in the house. And that was part of the reason why I left the house. Oh, wow. So, so in terms of, I just want you to elaborate a little more on the violence to the, to, towards the husband that you um, said that the husband, um, Yinka, mentioned that she had towards him. So can you please elaborate on that? What type of violence did she, you know, commit to him? Okay, um, 
I I wasn't there, but according to him, he told me like from um, the time his, this whole thing has been going on for a while now, like for like a year now. Okay. And when he, he told me she came to the house, and okay, there was a time he called me and told me that like he's been thinking about the whole issue and he's not been happy. And I told him, I said, you know, I know I know how you feel. Only you taking care of the kids for over a year. I know it's been difficult. All I can just tell you is just keep praying. Um, instead of thinking, why didn't you pray? So then he called me and told me that there was a night he, 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 went, um, he was in the washroom. And you know, normally when he's in the washroom, he thinks about stuff. And then that night he was just praying in the washroom. And while he was praying, Something just told him, he said something told him to check his bed before sleeping, like before sleeping, and he found like a stone, a very small stone on the bed. And he said, on a normal day, once he enters into, once he enters into his room like that, he would just go to bed and sleep, he wouldn't even check. But that night, he didn't know what made him check, and he found a stone. So when he told me, I said, did you sleep on the bed? He said, no. I said, good. He said, he slept in his closet. And he said, the next day, like for three nights, he didn't sleep in his bedroom, and my sister had been coming to the room to check, like if he had been sleeping in the bed or not, for like three nights. And he said the third night, she just said like they were having an argument, and the next thing he did was the next thing she did was she broke something on his head and you know, blood and gushing out and the rushed into. Oh, wow. Wow, what a story. So, um, do you think all of this, the violence that um, happened before, prior to his death, do you think that had an impact on the day that, you know, Yinka died on her arms? Well, from everything, from everything, I think it does. I think it does because she's done a lot of stuff. She, she's really, she's really, really done a lot of stuff. That, and from the way me, I say, from the way, from my, from my own point of view, I think she never loved him. He's been the one that's always been in love with her. That's the way she used to. I don't know. I don't know why she did that, but I think it has a lot to do with it. Because he's always the one going to her, trying to make things work out, trying to, you know make the family stay together. She has never, I, she has, the way I see, she she was never in love with him. Oh, wow. Because she cheated on me with several men, even some, even some that I know. Wow. Speaking of cheating, I know that other news outlets have said that Yinka, the husband, was um, the one that was sleeping with other women, including one of Temitope's sister. Do you believe this is true? No, no. That's a big lie. That's a, a terrible lie. She's been the one cheating on him. If I can remember very well, at least for the few that I know, at least I can count like five that I know of. Wow. But she cheated but she's cheated on. And I and this was the this is the beginning of the the problem with my sister because when I tried confronting her about this, she lied to me. She said her husband beat her when she was pregnant with um their first child and since then she hated him. And I said, okay, fine. If she actually, if he actually hits you, that's not an enough reason for you to cheat on him. Why don't you just call him and talk to him about this, or you just leave him? It's not, it's not by first. It's, it's not compulsory for you to be in the marriage. If you know you don't love him anymore, why don't you just quit the relationship? Okay. okay so tell me, how are your parents handling this? How are they taking the news? Well. We don't have a mom. We don't have mom anymore. My mom is my mom is late. Okay, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but I have a stepfather, which happens to be her own father. Wow. So how is he yeah. taking the news? Well, when I spoke to him about this issue, I remember um, late, um, early last year, if I can no, 
2013, yeah, I called this man and I spoke to him about this issue and he said, no problem, but he didn't do anything about it. And what I talked to him about was because there was a boy who was living in the house. This boy, when he came into the picture, he came in as a driver. Like, what she told me was this guy was going to be driving her around. But before I knew this, they started having relationships, they, like, they started sleeping with each other. And this boy was living in our house. And my stepfather was in the house, which is our dad was in the house, and he, 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 he saw this, he was in the house too. And I spoke to him about it, and what he told me was that, oh no, um, shall I a good guy? No, not like that, no, don't worry about it. And he never said anything about it. He didn't do anything about it. Wow. And since then, I just let every one of them, because I don't, Wayne has been a very good, he, he's been like a brother to me, he's been like, he's been, so good to me. I don't think he deserves he deserves anything. He deserved anything, whatever was it that he was going through then. So I had to, you know, leave the house and it's just not a part of the whole thing. I'm so sorry for your lostness. But um just to round it up, I also understand that they have children. What is the fate of their children? I don't know right now. Seriously, I really don't know. I don't know. The Right now, I, I think they're with their grandparents, but uh, they in cast parents. So I guess maybe they'll be the one to take care of them because I can't take care of them. I'm just a single lady still in school. I don't know. I can't take care of them. There's nothing I can do. So sorry to hear that. Is there anything that you would like our Sahara TV viewers to know about this situation? Is there anything you want me to watch? That you would like to tell our viewers that they, they don't already know from the news. Is there anything else? I just want you to know that Rain Kai is a very good man. He doesn't deserve to die this way. And whatever she has said, she's just trying to she's just trying to cover up for what she's done. He has never, ever, ever cheated on her. I know him so well because we talk all the time. And even when this whole thing started, he told me about it. He has the facts with him. He's someone that really loves her so much because he went back to Nigeria to bring her back just because of their daughter. Because for me, he loves his children so much, and he doesn't want to hurt them. That was why he took her back. It was, that's why everybody told him not to take her back. But because of his children, he doesn't want them to grow up without their mother. That was why he went back to. That was why he went back to Nigeria to bring her back before she killed him. Viewers, that has been the sister of Temitope Adebamiro, the Nigerian woman accused of killing her husband, Yinka Adebamiro. Stay tuned for more.